Hi guys, I'm Lillian. I have a craft to show you that I think you're going to like. It involves a little bit of science and a lot of pretty colors. I'm going to make these colorful butterflies using a technique called chromatography. You will need just a few materials. White coffee filters, any size, non-permanent markers, a pencil, cups of water, pipe cleaners, and a pair of scissors. Before you start, you may want to lay down a piece of newspaper to protect your table. The first step is to flatten out each coffee filter. Choose a few markers to experiment with. I am going to use black, brown, purple, orange, and green. With your pencil, write the name of each color in the center of the coffee filters. Now, draw a heavy circle around the center with the corresponding color. Go around three or four times so the color is dark enough. Fold each coffee filter in half and in half again. It should look like a cone. If you have enough cups of water available, you can do this next step all at once. Place only the tip of the cone into the water, making sure the colored part is not resting in the water. You may need to hold them up as they get heavier while soaking up the water. Now, watch as the water climbs the coffee filter, spreading the color. This cool process is called chromatography. As the coffee filter soaks up the water, the water separates the colors. For example, while black may look like one solid color, it is actually made up of multiple colors blended together. Once the water has stopped rising or has reached the top, remove the coffee filter from the cup and unfold it, placing it on a paper towel or sheet of newspaper to dry. Repeat this with the rest of your coffee filters. As they dry, examine them. I noticed that the black marker separated the most. I was also surprised that the brown marker contained purple. Once the coffee filters are dry, we can turn them into butterflies. I'd suggest cutting your pipe cleaners in half before this next step. Pinch the coffee filter in the center and wrap the pipe cleaner around the narrow part. All that's left is to shape your butterfly. You may need to fix the wings and shape the antenna. If you'd like to hang your butterflies, you can tie a piece of string around the middle. I hope you like the butterflies. Enjoy the rest of camp and have a happy summer! Thank you.